All right, hey guys. So we are on our way to the underwater reactor. Uh, before I go any further, I just wanted to show you I made a quick change with Vincent. I put the MP Absorb Materia on Comet and the MP Turbo ability on Neo Bahamut. I had no idea that the MP Turbo could be paired with summons, but they can. So this will actually make the Neo Bahamut summon a lot more powerful, which is uh, going to be fantastic for a boss. So I think we have to use this to go down, and we're going to be going down into the underwater reactor. And I think there's going to be another save point down here. At the end of this tunnel. And then we're going to have to fight some soldiers and then a boss. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, look at that. This is kind of cool. It's like an aquarium. Do underwater bridge, pretty much. Underwater highway. Bum, bum, bing. So I'm just gonna try out Comet 2 and see how much MP I get back from this. Ouch. Got 54 MP back. So, pretty awesome spell. <laughs> Doesn't cost very much MP to use, especially with MP Absorb, and does a lot of damage. I could also equip a Steel Materia to get some equipment upcoming, or in these upcoming fights, but they're not really that useful, so I'm just gonna skip that. Um, I have to press this button, I think. What's going on here? Underwater elevator? Kinda cool. Underwater reactor. It's a submarine, I think. These things have a lot of health. Should be, should be able to kill him when we're hit. Yep, there we go. Hooray! Love what? I really have no idea where I'm going. I hope I'm going the right way. All right, another save point. So there's a boss coming up. So let's save here. Do. Good. Boss battle, carry armor. The two difficult aspects of this boss battle against carry armor are its attacks deal a high amount of damage. It can pick up your party members and hold on to them, preventing them from participating in the battle. <clears throat> yeah, it seems really easy. Push your attacks on the arms when carry armor traps one of your party members. Alternatively, use spells, attacks that hit both the center body and the arms at the same time. Comet Materia or Ultimate Materia if you have leveled up. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, super easy. Super, super easy. Okay. So let's go. Let's do it. I'm gonna have to do some battles against these guards first. Ding, 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 ding. Super easy. Oh, I leveled up something. I think it was like an MP or HP plus. But it's okay, you are not getting the huge materia. Yes I am. Give me your materia. I want all of your materia. Miss. Uh oh. Oh wow. That was a strong hit. Red 13 is a beast. Shinra Beta. You are after the huge materia. Yes, I am. 
Damn, damn, damn. So these guys, I could have stolen a good item from these guys, but I decided not to. Whatever. So easy. Shinra soldiers are not very strong. Or maybe I'm just too powerful at this point in the game. Alright, time to fight the boss. What the heck is that thing? I don't think that's the boss. W rocket punch. Ooh, Nice. K.O. <laughs> I still love how they just, like, they, they just spin their weapons around in circles for, like, no reason. The huge materia. What's going on here? We were too late. If we take a shortcut, we might just make it. Did we make it? I think we're gonna fight that. Oh no, we're gonna fight like a giant robot thing, I think. So there's the huge materia, and it's getting loaded into that submarine. Oh, we're gonna fight that thing right there, in the left corner, whatever that thing is. Abomination. This is saying, I think. Reno, what are you doing? Help load. Cloud? I refuse. Help! Either give it to us or else. Which is it going to be? Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. What the heck is that thing? Alright, I'm sorry, but that boss looks retarded. <laughs> my, priorities, my priority is the huge materia. Yeah, that is a really dumb looking boss. Alright, it has 24,000 health. Hundred and fifty five MP. This should do a ton of damage with MP turbo equipped. I'm guessing it'll do at least five thousand damage to all the arms and the body. So fifteen thousand damage total. This is such a cool animation. Yep. Did about 5,000. Oh, it didn't do as much as I thought it would. How much does Aqualung do? About 3,000. I'm just gonna do a death blow. What's going on? Is he hurting Vincent? I think he was hurting Vincent. Well, he took Vincent, which kind of sucks. So much damage Shrine does. Oh wait, I think I... I might have just used the wrong move on accident. I think I might have just used Bad Breath. Oops. <laughs> Alright, well that arm is down.
Ouch. Good more than I thought it would. Let's target the left arm if we can. Why can't I target the left arm? There we go. Left arm. There we go. Got everyone back. Now to just finish him off. I'm gonna do normal attacks from here on out. Should be dead soon. Actually, let's do comment, normal comment. Ouch. Oh crap, I killed someone. No, I did not want that to happen. Oh, sorry. Meteor rain. This should kill it. Yeah, that definitely killed it. Mm -hmm. the first time one of my characters has died in a long time. Full cure is leveled up. God's hand. I think that's a weapon for Tifa. Damn, the submarine. But it's already in the water. There's a way. All right, before I do anything, let me look... Actually, let's uh, heal up. And I wanted to look at where 13's ability is. Full cure. So this fully cures all the characters on my team if I equipped it with an all material, I believe. But it requires 99 MP. That's a lot. I'm kind of like... Uh, I don't know if I like should equip this or not. I think I should. It'd be useful. And in that last fight, I should have used regen all to give regen to all my characters. That would have helped a lot. I sort of just forgot. Um, so let's take away this HP plus and put an all material. Let's just put this one. Um, so this will allow me to fully cure my entire team three times, I think. And let's see if anything else needs to be changed. I don't think so. I think that's good for now. All right, what do I do now? Do. It's not possible to return this area to collect the Leviathan scales. Make sure you pick them up before boarding the submarine. Oh, what? I have to collect the Leviathan scales? Oh, I guess that's for a summon, I think. Alright, take the left before you go towards the submarine and grab the battle trumpet. There's another treasure chest near the submarine that contains a scimitar for Sid. Where? Where? Oh, maybe up here? And it says the scimitar is one of the best weapons in the game for leveling materials that has triple growth. But there's not much use for it just yet. There's another treasure chest at the very end of the dock that has Leviathan scales, which is a key item to use back in Mutai. Proceed up the stairs and do battle with Shinra soldiers blocking your pathway to the submarine. Yeah. 
I don't know why I'm doing Comet. Just for fun, I guess. This will easily destroy them. But it didn't hit the right person. <laughs> oh well. Our restore leveled up all the way to max. So now I can cast Cure 3, which will greatly restore all my characters. Huh. You're not taking over the ship. Yes, I am. I love how Cloud starts off with Protecting Barrier. So useful. On real quick. You want the sub? Just try and take it. Save your game at the save point inside the submarine and proceed into the bridge when you are ready for a submarine battle minigame. Click the next button for more information. Alright. Um, sir, maybe we shouldn't piss them off. Another battle. Attack from both sides. Doesn't matter. You know, I'm sort of thinking about switching up my material a little bit. I kind of think that having Death Blow and Added Cut might be more useful on Cloud than on Vincent. Vincent's more of like a magic user. You could just keep using Comet over and over again. Because <coughs> Cloud seems to have a high critical hit ratio. Maybe it's because his luck is so high. But he also has Cover and Counter Attack, which takes up two slots. Nah, I guess it's not worth it. Not until I get more slots at least. Probably won't even have a chance to get more slots. Seems like the weapons with the most slots are not very good um, for other things. Alright, so now we're going to do a little mini game. It's going to be a submarine mini game. Let me just read ahead real quick. You have the option of either fighting the Sinrush soldiers or taking them prisoner after you enter the bridge. It does not matter what you choose. Examine the pilot's chair to begin. You can either read the instructions or jump in the seat. Controlling the submarine is fairly straightforward. Square to fire a torpedo. X button to speed down. Triangle button to speed up. The goal is to hunt down and destroy the red submarine that has a huge material inside it. You can end this fight fairly quickly if you are speedy enough. The red submarine starts just a little ways in front of your own self. Quickly speed up, lock on target, and fire torpedoes with the square button, and you're done. Alright, so this should be pretty easy, I'm guessing. But before I do this, let's go ahead and use a tent. Oops, I must have missed it. Alright, I'm not on the save point crap. Gotta be like directly on the save point to use a tent. Get my MP back. Let's do this. No, no, this is terrible. We don't have much time left. I don't want to die. There's still so much I've got to do. I never got to. I never got to do my special victory dance in battle. All right, then make this your first victory. Go on, show them. Yes, sir. Remember your last training. Begin. Yes, sir. I'm back, and now I got no regrets. Attack! Fight them, take them prisoner. Let's take them prisoner. Someone please, I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. The lack of space, the shaking, the roar of the engine. Better hurry, Reno's getting away. It moved. Cloud, try it. 
Hey, you're right, I do feel a little better driving. No sweat, just leave everything to me. Is the clouds getting seasick? Sit in the seat. Set, read the manual, start the mission. Main screen on, change the screen mode. All right, how do I do this? Uh-oh. Speed up. Oh, gotta target them, and then I gotta fire a missile. I don't really know how to fire the missile. There we go. Oops, slow down, slow down. Let me wait until he gets in front of me. This is really confusing. Mission complete. Okay, that was super... <laughs> that was, that was kind of silly, honestly. Am I done? Oh, there we go. Received Shinra sub. Ooh, we did it. The huge material should be at the bottom of the sea by now. Let's continue the search. All Shinra submarine units do you read? All Shinra submarine... Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Must be from Shinra. Report number two. We've got no choice but to respond. Alright, I'll do it. This is Shinra number two. Everything's normal. Roger. Your next mission is return to Junin Dock. We will transport the huge material from the airport. Those without other assignments will report to guard duty. That is all. Over and out. Junin Airport? We should make it if we hurry. Why don't we go to Junin Airport? Forget about the huge material for now. We're climbing. Take off. Wait, what are we doing? Why didn't we get the huge materia? Why are we going back? That doesn't make any sense. Why would we why would we do this? Press the A and blah blah blah. So now we can go in the submarine. Players can get on and off in bays like this one. Hmm. Before we go any further, I wanna check something. Uh let's see what we picked up. Oh, it's not here. We picked up Wait, it must be somewhere. The Shinra what the heck? We picked up, like, something. Oh, never mind. We picked up the submarine vehicle. We picked up the submarine. Okay. So that vehicle, that's what we picked up. I thought it was an item. <laughs> Alright. Okay. You will now receive the submarine vehicle, which will allow you to access many new areas around the world map. Underwater world. The game will automatically surface the submarine and park in front of the dock next to Junin, but there are a number of things that can and should be done by exploring with the submarine. Hop back into the submarine and press circle to go underwater. Okay. Oops. How do I go back onto it? Oh, A. Okay. Okay. Oops. Warning, do not venture too close to the huge floating monster, Emerald Weapon, that can be found underwater. This boss is far too difficult for you to defeat at this point in the game. Each time you submerge your submarine, Emerald Weapon will appear in a different location. Alright, so I need to avoid the boss if I find it. Red Submarine Wreckage. The first thing you should do is find the wreckage of the Red Submarine that you destroyed during the submarine battle. The red Submarine is located in the southernmost area of the ocean. Use the map. Alright, so I need to go... This way. Oh, there's the boss. Look at that boss. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stay away from that boss. He looks kind of happy, though. <laughs> right, it should be somewhere over here. Is that it? That might be it. So, this is the leader sub. Damn, makes me sit sick just thinking about it. Huge material recovered. No damage appears to be so sustained. Phew, that's good to hear. Received key item, huge material. Alright, we found it. Key to the Ancients. Travel through the crevices to the northernmost section of the ocean. Turn right at the very end point of the pathway to see a small hidden cave that leads to the Key of the Ancients. Touch the key to pick it up, use the map and screenshot below to help you find it. You need the key of the ancients for a section of the game that will be coming up shortly. There are a number of other side quests that you can complete before proceeding to Rocket Town. Alright. So we're going to be heading back north. Oh, 
Where did the boss go? He disappeared. Oh well. I'm just gonna take the slow route. What is that over there? Is that the underwater? I think that's the underwater reactor. Don't need to go to that yet. Just make sure we don't fight that boss. I don't want to get wrecked. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so up this way, there should be a secret door somewhere. I think it's a little bit further north. There it is. The secret key to the ancients. Seems like a key to somewhere. Seems really old. No, it's completed. Exact data of origin undetermined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Several thousand years? Ancients? Received key to the ancients. Alright, done. Let's go to the next page of the guide. It says something about uh, doing more side quests. Um. Before proceeding with any of the side quests or the story for this part of the game, you should make sure that you have already picked up the key to the ancient underwater cave and picked up the huge materia. Um, destroy the red spurbola, return to the underwater submarine battle page near the bottom for more information. There are three additional side quests that you should take care of before returning to Rocket Town. Lo locating Vincent's lost love, Lucretia, and obtaining Vincent's ultimate weapon and level 4 level break. I need to do that. And then the second mini quest, the sunken transport plane found at the bottom of the ocean. It contains some of the game's strongest enemies, as well as a huge assortment of in-game items. And then Da Chao Fire Cavern. Returning to Da Chao Mountain range of Leviathan scales to pick up a weapon for Yuffie and steel as well materia. Wait, what is steel as well materia? Offers a chance that paired materia will be used at the beginning of the battle. Each level of the materia increases the chance that it'll be used up to a maximum of 80%. Huh. Oh wait, no, that's something else. Steel as well materia. What the heck is steel as well materia? Oh wait, here it is. Offers an opportunity to use the steel command any time that the paired materia is used. The materia can be paired with almost anything including magic, summon, and command. Alright, I don't think I need to be stealing anything, um, so I'm not going to be going for that side quest. Uh, let me just check these other side quests real quick. Sorry for the wait. Um, the Sunken Galenka contains some of the most powerful enemies in the game, so you may want to hold off and attempt going there later on in the game. Entirely optional, but it contains a wealth of great items that you should pick up. Let me just look at these weapons, I mean these uh, things. There's no way to get a round inward weapon and into the sunken Glucka while it is guarding the way. There's a safer route if you're not blah blah, okay. So... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm tr I'm just looking to see. Yeah, I guess we'll do two side quests because this this uh, second side quest seems like you get a lot of cool items. Uh, but the first side quest is locating Vincent's lost love Lucretia and obtaining Vincent's ultimate weapon level four limit break. Okay. <laughs> Take the sub and travel above water over to the peninsula where Coast of the Soul is located. You gotta go up. up. Where Coast of the Soul. That's like, I'm, I'm almost there. It's right here. Going behind into the waters on the west side of Coast of the Soul. The west side. Hold on. I 
think I have to go around this. This might be the wrong way. Don't really know where I'm going. Probably the wrong way. Oh wait, no, this is the right way. Submerge the Shinra sub and you should find a cave nearby. Yep, found it. So many secrets in this game. Then dock your sub on the rocky ground on the west side of the pool. Use the PHS and add Vincent into your party, and then enter the cave. Alright, so I need to dock it on the west side of the pool. West is this way. Oops. Crap. How do I dock it? I just need to go right here and what, press X or A? How do I get out? How do I dock? <laughs> I don't remember how to dock. So it's not B, it's not X, it's not Y. It's not that button. I don't know how to dock. A is go forward. X. B is go underground. I don't know how to dock. How do you dock? Crap. I press like every button that I can think of. Y maybe? Oh, it's B. Okay, B is to go underground and it's a dock as well. Alright, Mysterious Cave. Cutscene. Vincent. That voice, it can't be. Lucretia. Vincent? Lucretia, stay back! So that's Vincent and Lucretia. I guess it's his wife. Or is it his mother? I think it's his wife. Her. She is happy then, I don't mind. Wait, I think it is his mother. I'm against it. Why experiment on humans? She and I are both scientists. After that, a child was born to Lucretia. That child's name was Sephiroth. That's Hojo. And Hojo just shot Vincent. And now Hojo is operating on him. Hojo's crazy. Crazy mad scientist. Vincent, this body is the punishment that's been given to me. I was unable to stop Professor Gass and Hojo. And Lucretia, I was unable to stop them. All that I was able to do was watch. That is my punishment. Okay, I can't move. Lucretia, you're alive. I wanted to disappear. I couldn't be with anyone. I wanted to die. The Genova inside me wouldn't let me die. Lately, I dream a lot of Sephiroth, my dear, dear child. Ever since he was born, I never got to hold him. Not even once. You can't call him his mother. You can't call me his mother. That is my sin. Back. Stay back. Vincent, won't you please tell me? 
what? If Sephiroth is still alive? I heard that he died five years ago, but I see him in my dreams so often, and I know that physically, like myself, he can't die so easily. Please, Vincent, tell me. No. It's my story. Lucretia, Sephiroth is dead. Dun dun dun. What, we just spawned out here? After engaging in 10 battles, you can return to Lucretia's Crystal Cave with Vincent and your party again to retrieve his ultimate weapon, Death Penalty, and his level 4 Limit Break Chaos. After engaging in 10 battles, so I have to do 10 more battles. I wonder if I can do a battle like right here, because we are outside in the overworld. Wait, I wonder if I can just go back in right now. Nope, nothing here. Okay, so I have to do 10 battles. Let me just check. Let me just run for a little bit longer. If I can do battles right here, it'd be so much easier, because then I don't have to, like, backtrack all the way around again. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Dang it. Hold on. A few more seconds. Please, please. Come on. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's no enemies here. Crap. Alright, so I have to do um, some random battles, and then I can get Vincent's ultimate limit break and his ultimate weapon. Which I should be able to use. Maybe that'll make, um, like, the end boss. The end bosses. I don't know how far we are in the game. I think we're getting close to the end. I'm guessing we are like 75% done, maybe 80%. Um, can't be too much more. Oops. All right, I can't dock here. Where do I dock at? Oh, maybe I can dock here? Nope. Hmm. Unfortunately, I have no idea where I can dock. This sucks. Maybe I can dock... Do I have to, like, backtrack? I really don't want to have to backtrack all the way back. Oh, I can, I can dock here, I think. Yes. Maybe? Come on, come on. It's not letting me dock here, it's a freaking port. Yeah, I don't think I can dock here. Crap. Is there any other places I can dock? Anywhere? Please? Maybe up there. Yeah, there's a dock. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, please, let me dock somewhere close. I don't want to go all the way back to Junin. There we go. Just to do 10 battles. So I guess I'm just gonna run around. Like, I know you can battle things out here, but I don't know if there's, like, a better place. Like, where's the place that a lot of enemies spawn? I'm a two. Yeah. I'm kinda not liking Comet 2, just because it doesn't target all enemies, it kind of just randomly hits certain enemies, which is kind of weird. You know, I think maybe if we go back here to this town, um, Coral Town, and then we go up north, I think there's a higher spawn rate. This is number two. Back attack. <laughs> Nine damage. <laughs> All 
Alright, two done. Eight to go. And you guys may want to just skip ahead to the next episode because this is going to take a considerable amount of time. I gotta find eight more battles. I'm pretty sure I can find battles right here on this bridge, and I think they happen quite often. Maybe not. And usually it's just like one fireball, so these should be really fast, very quick. Alright, seven more to go. And yes, I'm just going to be going up and down this bridge for the next maybe 15 minutes, maybe even longer, <laughs> so keep that in mind. I just attacked myself. <laughs> Oops. And what's that timer? Some weird timer above Cloud's head. Six more. <sighs> I mean, I think this is better. Yeah, this is definitely a faster spawn rate than outside on the overworld map. Five more. Yeah, a lot faster. There we go. Not as long as I thought it was going to take. Four more. This is definitely easier than getting the ultimate weapons in Final Fantasy X. Oh boy, if anyone's ever played Final Fantasy X, god, some of the like little mini quests to get the ultimate weapons for some members of the party is absolute hell. Especially Lulu's. Having to do that stupid lightning thing, having to, having to uh, dodge lightning, one more, for 200 consecutive strikes. That drove me absolutely insane. I think I did that for like half an hour. Oh man, that was hell. That was absolute hell. Alright, I think we're done. If you're wondering why I didn't start making my way back earlier, it's because, like, maybe I miscounted. Um, I don't think I miscounted, but just in case, like, I want to get one extra battle in. Just, just for good measure, you know? Okay, now we head back to the submarine, which is on the other side of the sand pit. The camera's not letting me turn around. Cloud just wiping them all out. I guess that's one bad thing about having the counter materia equipped, is that the other characters don't get their limit break charged as often as the person doing the guarding. Um, but whatever. Oops, I think I went the wrong... Yeah, it's, it's that way. Crap, wrong way. Dang. <laughs> 
I'm making this out to be a lot longer than it should be. It seems like Cloud is counterattacking after every hit now. Like, I remember before, counterattack didn't go off that often. I guess since I leveled up the Materia, which is right here, it's level 3. I guess at level 5, it's 100% of the time. I guess level 3 is probably, I mean, don't quote me on this, but I'm guessing it's like 60% um, of the time. I love seeing guns in a fu in a fantasy game. I don't know why, but seeing guns like a shotgun just I don't know, it feels good. Like there hasn't been a too many like RPGs that are set in like modern day time. Like I would love to see like I don't know, like some sort of like modern day like zombie but RPG style game where you have guns and like knives and I don't know. <laughs> like zombie slang weapons, I don't know, something like that. Some sort of like horror RPG with guns. <laughs> or like a modern RPG with like guns and rockets and such. I mean, I know there's some that exist. I have played some, but uh, there's not too many. Most of the time it's just uh, like swords and staves. Mostly just swords and staves. And sometimes other weapons, like other medieval type weapons, but not too many. Sword, shield, staves, and like too many weapons. Hopefully getting this weapon will give me a, like a huge edge in the next part of the story and during the next few boss fights. I don't know how powerful the ultimate weapons are or the ultimate limit breaks, but uh, I'm just hoping that it'll do some good. Found something? Lucretia's gone. Lucretia. Received death penalty. Received chaos. Nice. Let's equip those. Chaos. Yes! Got achievement for that. Setting the level 4 limit break. Yes. I can't wait to see what that does. And let's equip Vincent with his ultimate weapon. Death penalty. Attack 99. Growth nothing? What? Growth nothing? That's not what I wanted to see. Oh, that really, that really puts a damper on my, uh, of what I wanted to do. I wanted to use the death penalty and, like, go to town with it. But I guess it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought it was at least going to have some growth rate to it. Because I'm still, like, really far behind on my materia. Like, well, you know, death blow doesn't need it. Added cut doesn't need it. Comet doesn't need it. MP Absorb doesn't need to be leveled. But these two, MP Plus and HP Plus, really do need experience and need to be leveled. Uh, <laughs> actually, I could switch them out. I could put these two down here. And I could put these two up there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. The death penalty. Attack percentage goes down, though, which kind of sucks. But, oh well, we're going to equip the death penalty. Nice. And then we're going to put HP plus and MP plus on the bottom. Neo Bahama and MP turbo at the top. Okay. 
Wait, are these the right ones? I think they had different ones. Yeah, I think they had this one equipped. And, okay. Alright, that's pretty much everything. We could put enemy skill at the top as well. Don't really need that on the bottom. And I guess we'll just put another HP plus at the bottom. And, I mean, one more thing. Like, I don't really even know what to put up here. Maybe, uh... Oh, wait, we can put... No, never mind. HP absorb. It's... HP absorb doesn't work with enemy skill materia. But like destruct magic, D barrier, and D spell, or steel. So that Vince against steel stuff. Um. Uh, we'll just put destruct magic for now, and I think we're good. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I wish I could fly. I wish I could have like the ability, like Pokemon, to just fly to wherever I wanted to go. Um, like, you should be able to just use the airship to come here. It's kind of weird that you get the submarine before you get the airship. You'd think it would be the other way around. But I got the level 4 limit break and Vincent's ultimate weapon. So he, he should be a lot stronger. At least from what I'm thinking. And you know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I can't do it right now. Damn it. <laughs> What I was going to say is I was going to, uh, I think I'm going to put the luck, the luck materia on Vincent, because I think that might make it easier to do critical hits. And then I'll give the HP materia to Cloud, which just makes more sense overall. Oh, I can't, I can't exit the menu until I get out of here. So the next side quest, you can travel to the Sunken Galinka after you have obtained the Shinra sub, blah blah blah. The Sunken Galinka is a, sub is a submerged transport airplane that crashed in the water and is located in the bottom of the ocean. It's entirely optional, but it contains a wealth of great items that you should pick up. Alright, so it's like somewhere in this area. It's like somewhere below. But before I do that, let me switch out Cloud and Vincent. Yeah, it's definitely in this mi in this area somewhere. I just have to go underwater and find it. But before I do that, let's get out. Um, let's get out. Let's uh, change it up. So what was I gonna do? <laughs> oh yeah. I was gonna get rid of maybe this HP plus. I'm gonna go to Cloud. Wait, I keep forgetting what I'm gonna do. Okay, <laughs> luck plus, plus 20%. I'm gonna get rid of luck, and I'm gonna give that to Vincent. Pretty sure I have another HP plus somewhere, right? Just one? I thought I had two. HP absorb, truck balloon, cover. Oh, I thought I had more than one. I thought for sure I had two HP pluses. Oh, guess not. Nope, okay. So I'm gonna give HP plus to Cloud, and then for Vincent, I'm gonna give luck plus. I can find it. God, I keep missing him. There it is. And let's just look real quick. I keep forgetting, like, what luck does. Final Fantasy VII. Okay, so luck in... Okay, in critical hits. It improves chances of critical hits. So it says... I think it said plus 20%. Actually, let me look at stats. Luck is 29 I don't know. It's going to give him a higher chance of doing crits. And 
Before I end this video, since this video is getting kind of long, I'll do the second side quest in the next video. The second side quest involves getting some really good items and fighting some really hard bosses, which I'm probably not prepared for, but we'll see. But before I do that, I want to see what Vincent's weapon is and how much damage it does. I'm just going to defend and then defend well. So it's like a rifle. Ooh, nice. So it basically improved his attack power by like 500. And contain leveled up. So now I can do break. I have no idea what freeze and break even do. Freeze probably freezes enemies, but break? Very strong earth magic sometimes causes petrify. 86 MP needed. Ooh. Very strong ice magic sometimes causes stop. Ooh, maybe I should try those out real quick. <laughs> Getting all sorts of cool uh, magic. I'll eventually give this to um, Vincent once it's leveled up more. But for now, I'm just using it on Cloud just to be a uh, experienced sponge, pretty much. But we can always try it out. Let's see how much damage his normal attack does. Let me try to see what, how much freeze does. Killed him in one hit? Gotta be, gotta be kidding me. <laughs> wow. That did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna do. Okay, so Cloud... Maybe I don't need enemy skill materia. Maybe I can give, like, maybe I should give, like, Contain to Cloud and then maybe Ultima to Red 13. And then we can just forget about enemy skill. <laughs> I can't believe Vincent died in one hit. That must have been, like, a low chance. I did not expect that to happen. Alright, I want to see what the other skill does, just to compare. Magic. Four thousand damage, wow. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. And I'm pretty sure the ultimate materia isn't leveled up yet. Yeah, it's not leveled up yet, but it's about to level up pretty soon. And then that's another super strong attack, I'm pretty sure. And I can also pair these with all Oh man. So honestly, I don't need to have enemy skill paired with all of my characters, because now I know magic that's even stronger than enemy skill, which is awesome. That's all I have to say about that, it's just awesome. <laughs> so I'll uh, think about that later on. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to do for this video. Uh, so I'll just save the game here. And in the next episode, we'll do another mini quest, which will be hopefully pretty interesting and include some pretty epic boss fights. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.